what is up ladies and gentlemen boys and girls slave assassin 11 here and that is right i am still alive it has been a week and like two days since i've been able to get you guys a video and here's the reason why um there is no reason why to be honest with you guys i was just being a little bit lazy and i really don't know why i was just maybe in the i don't know you know i got a lot of people that are just bugging me in life and there's just a lot of things going on in life and it's just kind of like life is being weird right now so at this moment it was just hard to put up videos and it really just wasn't at the top of my priorities to get on here and put on videos but i didn't forget about you guys do not worry i will never just vanish off the face of the earth if i do end up not coming back to youtube which isn't going to happen so don't even think about asking the question but if i ever do I will leave you guys a with a video, you know, telling you goodbye and stuff like that. But I'm not going anywhere. I just sometimes will take a little bit of a break. But it's good not to flood your guys' uh, sub box. I know you guys are getting spammed with a hundred other people's stuff, anyway. So there's no reason for me to spam you any more than that. But um, anyways, with this gameplay, I'm bringing you a team snipers on the map hemorrhage. I'm pretty sure, and this gameplay could have been a flawless perfection for me. It could have. But if you noticed right off the beginning of this game, I jumped on to a mongoose with a white boy 7 street goat and that was the biggest mistake of my life because he decided to take me right to the spawn in which he got us both killed. And I know I should have never gotten a car with him because I know the rules, you never get into cars with strangers, even in Halo, you never get into cars with strangers because nothing good will come from it. So let's just leave it at that. But today's topic is... Will Team Snipers in Halo 4 be better than they were in Halo Reach? Now, you may be asking, you know, what do you mean, will it be better? It's pretty much going to be the same concept. Well, there's going to be things that are going to change the way the game plays. Um, also, I want to throw in here right at the start, I am no sniper. So you guys are going to notice I missed some headshots. You have to remember, I've only been playing Halo for like two months. And sniping is by far the hardest thing to pick up in Halo Reach. Especially if you try to do like the quick scope and stuff, which I don't do that too often. But when I do do it, um, it's pretty bad it's a pretty bad uh pretty bad sight so i'm not the best sniper and this one i end up going 27 and 1 so i died right at the start other than that you guys aren't going to see me die the rest of the time here i'm going to end up going out so i should have went flawless but whatever I'm getting off subject here back to the halo 4 um with halo 4 will it be better so let's go ahead and break down the very first thing and i'm going to call it map size now certain maps and the things set up on the map really affect the way this game is played. Now if you notice these three guys in this left corner, where can they go? They have nowhere to go. They spawned right there in the open. I'm head glitching this rock, which is by far the best place in all of hemorrhage from the red base. This is the best place you want to be because you can see practically all the spawns and defend yourself. The only thing you have to worry about is them coming through the teleporter in your back left, in which I had a buddy up on the cliff that was watching the teleporter, so there was nothing to worry about when it came to that. But the map size, if you notice like this one, they have only can spawn in certain areas. And in those certain spawns, they can just get destroyed because they spawn into no cover systems. They spawn into nowhere. So they just get destroyed over and over by me and they have no chance. And it's not very fair to them. Um, examples like Countdown 2 or Hemorrhage or a couple of the other uh, Hemorrhage maps like the different configurations of the Forge world, they're just kind of sucky countdown you know just look out onto the balcony and they just aim down there and they snipe you guys and then they turn around and they aim down low and snipe you guys and it's just the way the maps are set up and where they spawn you guys they leave you with no coverage or no anything and this map is exactly perfect thing they are going to spawn on this left wall short this left wall deep the base the right side deep or in the right side cave and they pretty much always spawn together like in a little pack so if you find one you're probably going to find the other ones and it also kind of spawns, it doesn't spawn randomly, it seems to just move around the map, like from left to right, I think, or I don't know what's going on. But it's far too easy to predict these spawns, and it's far too easy to take guys out as soon as they come through the spawns. So that is where I'm hoping that Halo 4 can beat Reach in. Right here is kind of funny, this guy comes back and gets me, tries to give me another ride in his mongoose, and I tell him, not this time, and he gets all upset and jumps off and just tries to stand next to me. But, anyways, so... I'm hoping Halo 4 can bring that uh, that aspect to the game when it comes to map. And I've seen that capture the flag map. It was a very big map. There was a lot of bases. And that could be a good thing for snipers. Maybe spawn the people inside the bases. So at least they have a little bit of coverage off the spawn. Like these guys are spawning back on these rocks and they have nowhere to go. They're just going to get spawned and taken out every single time. So i also seen that I think... Now this is all just my opinion. I think the sniper rifle shoots faster in 4. It just seems like the guys are kind of spamming it quicker. And if you can spam it quicker and the reticles kind of like separate even bigger like they do in that one, maybe 
hip firing is going to be kind of a nuisance in Halo 4. Maybe people are going to start hip firing a lot, and that won't be cool because, you know, I don't know, it just drives me nuts. It's kind of like a Call of Duty thing, you know, when people get all mad that they get quick scoped because there's really just no chance. You come around the corner and you try to have like a quick scoping battle, and instead you just get no scoped and you have absolutely no chance to react yourself. And it sucks. It really does suck. So hopefully no scoping is not that much of an issue with those faster sniper rifles but those sniper rifles could have just been the beta sniper rifles the beta speed whatever you want to call it and or it could have been just my eyes going in completely insane thinking they were shooting faster i don't really know but i believe they were shooting faster and i believe they look to be a little bit of a pain but um one of my other things i really want taking out of team snipers is the pistol the pistol must go it drives me nuts now every once in a while i admit i pull out the pistol but it's kind of a cheap move. I shouldn't pull it out because this is Team Snipers. You know, it's it's like playing a game calling it Team Knives. Team Knives, but but they're able to have shotguns. It's like secondaries or main thing. They're able to have a shotgun. Well, who's ever going to use the knife when they have the shotgun? Same as the pistol. When you're playing Countdown, you know how many times I've come around the corner and being a new guy in Halo, I'll just try to no-scope people and hip-fire them, and I'm also no good at that. And I'll just come around the corner on Countdown and maybe just get punched once and then pistoled to death or just even pistoled to death. And there's just no opportunity. The only thing you can do is pull out your pistol. But obviously, if you're a bullet behind in Halo, then you're pretty much dead. It's pretty much whoever can pop the first shot unless you can spin and, you know, turn on him quick enough to get your reticle on him and hit him before he hits you again, which is very slight chance in Halo. Then I guess you could possibly do that. But basically... They, the pistols gotta go. The pistols are just too overpowered for Team Sniper. You're at such a disadvantage if you're in close quarters and they're sitting there rocking a pistol on you. So, it's Team Snipers, only use your sniper pistol, people. That's just like Team Rocket in Halo 3, and people have rockets. This is called Team Rockets. If you want to use BRs, go play regular Slayer. Same with pistols. If you want to use pistols, go play SWAT Magnum. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But... The last thing I want to talk to you guys is going to be about my channel. And I'm sorry this video is so spastic and so crazy. It's just because I really wanted to get this out to you guys. I was sitting there and I was like, you know what? I got to do a YouTube video. Like, what am I doing? I'm just sitting here being lazy. And there's just no reason for that. So I'm going to jump on here and get a video. And I think I'm going to bring you guys a video again in like two days. Because you guys deserve it for, you know, sticking around. It pretty much went a whole week and I didn't lose one subscriber. I, went, I didn't lose one subscriber in that entire week. So to me makes you guys the best subscribers in the world you stuck through even when i didn't you know start uploading weekly like i said i would so you guys are awesome i can't thank you enough and i'm gonna be bringing you guys some cool stuff i'm gonna bring you guys all types of shooters like always bringing you guys your halo still your halo 4 breakdowns and also going to be bringing you guys maybe the next one i'll do here is the griff ball passing and the oddball passing i'm really 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 interested in how that's going to work in competitive play so i'm going to be bringing you guys some information on that and i'm also going to be bringing you guys a dead island playthrough with me and about two of my buddies two or three of my buddies depending on how many guys i can get and hopefully we have a really funny time and it'll be fun and just stupid to watch us run around and mess around and kill some zombies cut some heads off and just drink blood like some bosses you know what i'm saying people so hope to see you there. Have a good day. Have a good night. And peace.